I had a recent query about how to do pin lines around memorials, so I'm just going to do a quick video to show you how to go about doing that. Um, I'll import a memorial shape. Pin lines generally tend to work best on um, flat sides, so no chamfers and things like that. So if I just pick up the large OG and just drop that onto the stone, onto the um, page as per normal using the spacebar. So if we want to put a pin line around the headpiece, the first thing we're going to need to do is to um, actually create an object the same shape as that headpiece. And so the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to press Control and click to actually select just the headpiece. And then I'm going to go Edit, Copy, and then Edit and Paste. And so that's created me another object which is the same shape as the as the memorial headpiece. And if I just take away the fill by left clicking the X at the bottom there, and then I'm going to right click on a red outline and you can see there that that's, this is the new object that I've got and indeed if I go to the object manager we've just got a separate it's called OG, don't worry about that, um, but you can see that I've got this separate object here. Um, so the next stage I want to do is I want to bring that object in. Now you could just click the top here and um, by holding the shift button you can see that the blue line shows where the, the object's going to go and it's it's going to create me a line inside. Um, unfortunately though you may be able to see that the the distance between if I let go the distance between the top here and the, the, the pin line is greater than the distance from the edge and that's because it's just scaled it and we want it to be uniform so this distance here must match this distance here. So if I just undo that the way that we do that um, is we set a nudge distance up here in the top right hand side to a sensible amount, 5 millimeters is fine for this purpose and then I'm going to select the shape tool and the shape tool means that I can select individual nodes within that just by dragging a box around it and if I tap the down arrow um, I'm going to tap it three times so it should bring my line 15 mil inside the um, edge of the top edge of the memorial there um, I can now draw a box around these two points and go one, two, three, bring that 15 mil in, line around these ones, one, two, three, and a line around these ones, box around these ones, and go one, two, three. And if I now just deselect that, then we can see now that we have a pin line all the way around the memorial. Now at the moment that's just a single line, so if I turn on wireframe. I can see that's just a single line and that's all it's going to do is cut one line. So I could repeat the process and, and, and add another line inside if I wanted and that would do the same. So if I click um, back to this and I press um, oops, uh, copy, control C, control V and then I pick up my points and then move them one in move these ones one in, these ones one up, and these ones one in. That will do that job for me and that will have created the pin line around the outside. The other way that I could do that, um, if I just jump out, return back to where I was. So the other way that I could do that is I could take this line and I can make it thicker and instead of being 0.2 millimeters thick if I make that 5 millimeters thick um, and then I can click object in fact let me just zoom in so you can see what's happening here so if I just uh, zoom in on this corner if I go to wireframe you can see that still although there's a thick line there it still shows it as, as a single line in the wireframe view and that's what we'll end up cutting on the plotter. If I now go object and then convert outline to object you'll see that now when I go to the wireframe that's created me what I was wanting which was my pin line. Change it back and press F4 to zoom out to everything and if I wanted I could make that a gold pin line. So that's how you would do a pin line and that assumes that you want the pin line to go all the way down to the bottom and sometimes your pin line actually wants to go and 
uh, run all the way down so that it, there's no horizontal line along the bottom. So let me just show you how you go about doing that. Um, I'm just going to take the pin line that we've created. I'm just going to make it no fill by left clicking the no fill button and I'm going to right click to get the outline so I can see the lines that I'm working with in here. I want to just make this a little bit clearer so I'm going to move the base. So I've selected the base, base by clicking control click um, and then I'm just going to move the base five, three, four, five. Just move it away from the headpiece so I can see clearly where the edge of the headpiece is. Now what I want to do is I want to take this shape and I'm just going to move these dots, these control points down so that they go beyond the base of the memorial, base of the headpiece. So you can see that the shape that I'm looking for is I want this section filled but not this. So what I now do is I choose the Smart Fill tool and by clicking the Smart Fill tool and I click in between those two lines there, it fills me a section that is exactly what I'm wanting. And if I just click and remove my original object, you'll see that's now created a pin line that runs all the way down to the bottom um, and uh, rather than having a horizontal line across it. To make that look properly uh, correct, I'm just going to remove the outline and fill that gold. And then I'm going to select my base again. So select the object and then press Control and click to select the base. I moved it five down. So if I move it five up, one, two, three, four, five, we should look good. So that's how you go about creating pin lines. Um, obviously, when you come to cutting this, you don't really want to cut that pin line. Uh, we've got another tool that's really useful for doing pin lines, the compass cutter, um, and that will then just do parallel lines around the outside edge of the memorial. The reason we don't use the plotter to do the pin lines is that no OG matches exactly the, size, the shape of the OG in the, in the uh, memorial designer system. They're close, but they're not going to be exact, and you want to make sure that that pin line follows exactly around the edge of the memorial. So that's how you go about doing that.